We've been to the Overlander show a few times, but never in this much rain. Ricky was not pleased as he just spent hours and hours getting the van all nice and clean. Go on! Do something! We had as many concerns about getting the van on the pitch as we did off it, even though we knew we could get a tow. Rianne from What's Occurring parked us up in the YouTube area. Right, that's us now because those back wheels are bleep. They better be fucking dirty, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if you can come forward anymore, but. No, stop! That's fine. <laughs> I just want to see his wheels get yeah, dirty. Yeah, that's it now. We're back. Yeah, wheels are dirty. <laughs> We got pitched up and had some dinner. By then it had gone dark and it was still raining and very muddy. So we decided to give the evening entertainment a swerve and just got up the next morning to have a look around the show. Before that, however, I had a very important mission to complete. Now I'd promised Freddie that I'd keep my eyes peeled for the prime drink that's all the rage with the youngsters these days. And I'd managed luckily enough to find three in a Sainsbury's store. So look at that face, you literally can't beat it. Little boy made very, very happy. Bless him. Overland.com are here again. They're lovely people. I think we need to buy an Overland vehicle just to get us out of here. We need to buy an Overland vehicle while we're here to get us out. Yeah. <laughs> You'd like to think that these vehicles wouldn't be getting stuck in the mud, but apparently some of them have. So some of the big ones apparently have really been sinking in the mud. I mean, it is quite muddy shall we say look at this <laughs> you can't even really get the depth of those tracks but you know what i find quite funny though what? so you've got vehicles like this getting stuck yeah i just saw some geezer on a mobility scooter <laughs> he was flying <laughs> not so true. much as a wheel spin inside true actually so if you're looking to go off-roading get yourself a mobility scooter yeah. that's where it's at absolutely look at that bobby dazzler I felt so sorry for the display vehicles. We did have a careful look around a few of them, but I was just too scared to go in most of the time. Just to give you a flavor of uh, the mud, look at that. <laughs> some mud flick. So this overland is having a little bit of trouble. something he's not getting stuck however this is stuck there he goes look no problem whatsoever with the rescue vehicle out of action find out 
if this man manages to pull the overlander out of the mud with his bare hands by heading over after this vlog and watching the overlander stuck in the mud live that I recorded on location. Now back to the show. Since Ricky got his HGV license last year, he's been obsessed with the need to upgrade our van yet again. He wants a lorry or an American RV. I say no. What do you think? Now you can't camp at Stratford without going into town. It's packed full of history. There's Shakespeare everywhere and lots of very British sights to be seen. I've never seen that anywhere else in the world. Have you? At the Adventure Overland show, it was time to gather together and share food. We got the fire pits going while some people warmed up their vocal cords and others toasted marshmallows. As darkness fell, the karaoke became more serious. Oh, Everyone was having a go and somehow Di managed to persuade Ricky and I to take a turn as well. This is the first time we have ever done karaoke. I think you can probably tell. Totally unplanned, we were totally unprepared, but you know, Ricky's back problems only lasted for a couple of days, so I think the lift went really well. Very like the real thing. We got to bed in the early hours of the morning, but we'd had a brilliant night with friends. So it's uh, Sunday morning and Ricky's cooking breakfast and you've just missed the uh, special noise there. We now know what the smoke alarm sounds like. I blame the creator of TikTok. Oh, did you get distracted? Yeah. Ricky got distracted whilst making the breakfast. Oh dear, look at that. Right, look at that. Oh. Yeah, that's a good one. Right, oh. feed me now. Right, get, get ready. The ground is still rather damp underfoot, but we had a little bit of rain last night, but I'm hoping that we're all going to make manage to get, get uh, off the grass tonight or tomorrow when everyone's going home. So we've uh, had a nice breakfast and I'm going to have another look around the show and just catch up with a few people before um, everyone starts to go home. I've lived this day so many times, I know everybody's name. And each day is still so sad. I had one last look around the stalls and the food stalls actually looked really good and we hadn't had a chance to sample them and there was some gluten free stuff too. Then we bumped into Daisy the cow van who introduced us to Maisie the cow van who's their latest project. Then it was time to make our way back to the van and get out of the mud. Alright we're attempting to leave. Can we? We can't move. We're stuck. Okay, I'm going to have to get out. So why aren't you moving then? Have you got the handbrake on there? Even when Ricky took the handbrake off, he still needed the help of our friend Carl. Here comes the cavalry.
got pulled out of the mud by Carl and his fella. His fella? That sounds wrong. Got pulled out of the mud by Carl and his colleague. And then I forgot to get the keys back from him. The it's house all keys. the house keys that we used to try and get the clip off to put the towing hook in. Anyway, panic over now. Also, Deb ran back after them, got the keys, so sorted. So now we can finally get on the way home and be able to get in when we get there.